Dogumentary TV, producing the best breed documentaries on YouTube. This is Brad Anderson with bradanderson.org. I'm going to talk about gumbo, my American pit bull terrier. An American pit bull terrier is a fighting breed. It's a breed that was developed specifically for dog fighting. I got gumbo really as an impulse purchase. Um, I had basically online stalked his, um, his sire for years. His sire's name is Twister. And when I found out Twister was being retired, I decided I, I needed to have an offspring from Twister. And so um, I, I purchased Gumbo, and, and that's how I got him. He's really, he's, he's my pet. He's my buddy. I like him. You know, he's one of the few dogs I have here that, is, um, that doesn't have a real purpose, a, a real reason why I got him other than just that I wanted him. You know, I could make up a few reasons, you know, coyote control maybe, you know, um, maybe a little ratting here and there, but at the end of the day, Gumbo's here because I wanted him. And um, he hasn't decided he wants to eat every dog that he meets. Gumbo so far is a great pet. He's good with my daughter. He's good with my wife. Um, he's clean in the house. He's been, he was surprisingly easy to potty train. I expected it to be harder. Um, he enjoys meeting other people. Uh, he has really solid nerves. So far, he's not horribly dog aggressive. He is from Boudreaux lines though, and they're kind of well known for being um, late starters. Specifically, he's from the Eli line. So some of those dogs don't start until three years or so. So in a year and a half, we could do this again. And I might tell you that, you know, he hates every single one of my dogs. But so far, um, he only hates a few of them. His list, his hate list gets a little longer, you know, as, as time goes on. But I, I've, been, I've been actually um, pretty surprised by how social he is. He's got a good head on him, you know, he's a good dog. Gumbo definitely has some prey drive. He likes to give chase. He chases the rabbits around here all the time. He killed one of my guinea fowl at one point. He's mildly interested in my pigs but I, I don't let him get too close to them so that you know, he doesn't get too interested in them. You know, he's, he's a dog that loves a car ride. The second he comes out, if I open the car door, he's in there and ready to go. We take him to the breweries, local breweries around here, and he's kind of a star. Everyone's like, oh, gumbo, you know. Um, he's, for me, he's just a fun dog. So far, he's kind of my perfect dog. You know, he's a good size. I like how he's smaller. You know, that makes it easier for me to toss him in the car and take him wherever. If we have to go pick up dog food, he's not taking up the whole back. Um, I just, you know, I enjoy, I enjoy that aspect of owning him. I would recommend the breed as a pet to someone who totally understands what it is to own a game dog and what a game dog is. And for someone who's accepted the fact that they are a game dog and it's, you know, they're, the, the genetics behind them are, are, is, is more than likely going to make them pretty aggressive towards dogs and other animals. If, if you're willing to accept that and, and the nuances and the logistics that comes with owning a dog like that, um, then he's a wonderful pet. But if, you know, managing multiple dogs that want to kill each other or not being able to take him to a dog park or, you know, on a walk or whatever, it bothers you, then it's not the breed for you. Certainly if you want to do things like weight pull, you know, I, I know that his dad and, and, and several dogs from, from his kennel have excelled at weight pull. By the way, he came from Red Creek Kennel in Mississippi. This is Brad Anderson of bradanderson.org. And these have been my thoughts and, and um, opinion on owning gumbo an American Pitbull Terrier.